Welcome to Off-Grid Contract. And guys, in this video today, we're going to show you um, what I'm going to later label. I don't know if I'm going to label it the Apocalypse Special or the Mad Max Edition uh, Off-Grid Shed or something. We're going to figure out a name for this thing. Um, but uh, anyway, it'll be posted up later. But I'm going to show you this has a rain catchment, has a pump system, filter system, has the um, off-grid power with two Snyder inverters. It's a 120 amp capable output uh, to the house. It has eight modules on top. It's going to have 20 on the ground at the customer's location. We'll show you that in another video. Uh, but I'm going to spin this around real quick, and we're going to take you a uh, walk through through it. And hope you hey, enjoy. guys, so here is the array, and you can see that's on rail and clamp down. And then it's also got the S pads. Um, and then that's uh, butyl to the roof and then L bracketed on top of that for a good seal. Um, really, really neat system. I like that a lot. And um, this uh, also lets you know the rain. Uh, the other day, it's raining today and uh, it was going right down, flooding into the uh, first flush on the system. So that was very nice to know. And uh, yeah, we'll go inside here and uh, I'll show you the rest. Okay, so we have the uh, air conditioning system. I'll show that first flush when I walk back out. Um, got Brian in here and uh, Jaden laying the hammer down. We just got the inverters and the charge systems on the wall. There's gonna be a wind turbine come in as well um, that'll be mounted to the roof once that we get to the uh, job site later. And um, you can see the uh, customer, we painted two coats of paint for the customer. This is the uh, 125 gallon tank. It'll have overflow and then it's got um, the first flush, then it's gonna come out of that, into the pump, out of the pump, into a whole house filter, and then um, out to a hose bib um, as well, so that uh, that can be used for water usages. And then um, right here, we've got extra outlets that's gonna be on the circuits for the pump and the air conditioning, um, as well as a regular 20 amp service um, circuit that's going to be by itself so that when some of this is not being utilized, they can use those circuits as well. We just want to give them some extra outlets. Got that in place. This wall right here is just in case this pump ever had a failure, um, that it's not spraying everywhere. And, um, there's a drain to outside as well, but we are going to coat this floor. Um, and we're also going to have that word that the uh, I'm gonna try to put that waterproofing seal around this afterwards too, so all that will be contained to drain out if that ever happened and be blocked off. We'll also have a cover, protective cover there. That air conditioning unit will be pulled out for transit and then when we get there, we'll actually put it back, trim it out, put it in place permanent. And then this is a Midnight Classic 200 charge control systems, once for the roof and part of the panels on the ground and the other ones for the rest of the modules on the ground. And here's the Snyders. The battery shelving will go here, um, and the batteries will be two rows of eight. I'll show that in a later video on the finish. Uh, this leaves room that to code, they can have two more inverters later on and some more battery if they so desire in the future. Um, and that can be bonded to those batteries as well, and we'll have bus bars for that. So it's coming along, uh, definitely coming along good. And uh, right out here will be the overflow drain and the pull valve for the tank drain um, if the customer wants to drain their tank. And then this here is the first flush. You can see right there coming in off the roof. And then that will go down and into the building. And then this right here, you can clean your debris out. So yeah, guys, that's uh, just wanted to show you one of, the, uh, one of these customer projects that we have in process. And the turnaround time on this from the time that you order, um, I'll, I'll explain that in just a second. So the turnaround time from when you order um, to when you receive your structure right now, the turnaround time's pretty much about three to four months. Um, it's been is pretty much a good average, but depending between the world, how things are with tariffs and all the stuff that's going on right now, it can vary. Um, but if you want some more info about this, you can email us at gooffgrid at offgridcontractor.com. You can bump over to the website and leave an email there as well on the contact form. And you can also reach us at 865-919-0865. And as always, till we see you again, we look forward to working for you.